Hello, good people, and welcome to another episode of MWF Tech Tips. In this installment, we're going to be talking about adding sheathing to our panels. So we're all used to using the wall modeling options here to create our panels and do everything. We're going to switch it up a little bit, and we're going to start talking about the multi-layer options here. So what the multi-layer tool does is it comes into the Revit wall type and picks up the, well, the Revit wall type. It sees the structural layer and it's gonna be able to read these to exterior layer or the exterior sheathing layer and the interior drywall or gypsum wallboard layer. And we're gonna associate a sheathing template to both of those layers as well. So to begin, we open up the project setting options here. It looks a little bit different. We have a wall type map very similar to what we already kind of uh, we use with the template mapping here. We have our structural templates, secondary templates, opening types, and our sheathing templates. So let's start there. First thing we want to do is copy this. We'll call this exterior sheathing. Okay. And then we'll copy it again, and we will call it interior drywall. We can open up each one of these templates by selecting it and saying modify and putting in constraints such as our uh, maximum lengths and heights here. So I'll put my exterior uh, sheathing to 4x10. I'll put a little gap in there of 1 16th. We have the ability to put offsets. We can give it a label prefix here. It stamps it right on the piece that's going to be generated. And I want to use the layer material because I've set it appropriately within my Revit wall. I have additional offsets around my openings and I have the sheathing layout options. So I've got some layout selections here. I can use a basic tiled, a horizontal staggered or a vertically staggered pattern. I have the ability to select my vertical and horizontal alignments so I can attach it right to the framing or I can use the sheet dimensions and add an additional member behind the sheet where it splits. So we'll keep it use framing and we'll quickly modify the interior drywall one as well. We'll make this guy four by eight rather and we'll say DW for drywall. We'll use the layer material. We'll go vertically staggered as well and we'll use our framing options. So we've got our two sheathing templates created. They're very simple to use. We'll jump back over here to wall type map and I can see I picked up the six inch MWF wall from my project and there are the three layers we saw before. As I highlight over them, I can see that they highlight up here in my preview. Now all we simply need to do is associate one of our sheathing templates to this Revit layer. So this is my exterior sheathing select. My interior gypsum gets the interior drywall template. And my metal stud layer gets a structural template that we've created within MWF. So nothing new here. We select that template, in it goes, and we say, okay. Now, when we select our Revit walls, let's just take these guys right here, these four, instead of using the old quick create in the wall modeling portion of the ribbon, we use the quick create from the multi-layer options. So as you can see in my project, my panels were created, my sheathing members were placed. Let's hide these walls quickly. And I can select each individual piece. I can see all of the parameters related to it right here. If we swing around to the inside, I see all of my interior drywall pieces split for me just the way I wanted. So now anytime we need to make a modification to one of these panels, perhaps I move the window in this wall, we can just select everything right here. And instead of using the old regenerate, we're going to use the 
regenerate from the wall multilayer. Just messed up my ribbon there a little bit. There we go. We say regenerate, and we have the ability to regenerate the selected layers or regenerate by layer type. Now I've modified all the layers, so I can select all of them, say OK, and again it sees that I've made that change and it updates my panel for me. So that's the basic introduction into the sheathing. Have a great day, good people.